James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 10th, 2023, 6 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, we've just had a magnitude 6.6 earthquake in the Caribbean near Antigua and Barbuda. Ladies and gentlemen, it has an associated tsunami warning. There's no depth at this point. They have the default depth of 10 kilometers. We're going to get some more information. We're going to take a look at the buoys. We're going to also take a look at some more opinions from different modeling stations in different countries. Let's get going. All right, headed over to volcanosandearthquakes.com. They have it as a 6.4. The default depth of 10 kilometers and their main source is the USGS. It looks like this was upgraded. The third upgrade we've seen in the last week by the USGS. This is going to be lagging where the USGS's website itself is going to be on spot point. And we were just there. We're going to keep going, but the French came in at a 5.0. Go figure. Raspberry shake. Came in at 6.4, but the USGS upgraded to a 6.6. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the closest large quakes I've seen to the United States, period. Let's get some more detailed information. But before we do that, let's talk about this being on a plate boundary and also associated or close to two volcanoes that have been trying to wake up now for over 18 months. A major magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake, North Atlantic Ocean, Antigua and Barbuda, Monday, July 10th. Let's keep going. Again, we're still at VolcanoDiscovery.com, the same website that just called it a 6.4 with the USGS as their source. Here in the details, we see a 6.6 .6 with the main source, primary data source, USGS. And we see that 7.5 atomic bombs worth of energy were released. And there's a tsunami warning. I'm guessing we have buoys in event mode. Now, as I've told you all many times, there's only a few tsunami buoys around the world. You're looking at all the ones that are on in yellow and all the ones that are off in red. Of course, there's many buoys, as I'll show you all. But tsunami buoys, no. There's only this many, period. Now, we have an event mode here in buoy 44403. That's going to be 437 nautical miles east of Boston, Massachusetts. Now, we have seen that buoy in event mode before. I don't know if it's associated with the large earthquake that we just had but we're going to get some detailed information on what's going on there although the water column did rise three feet this is the event right here in red so very little if anything occurred we're going to take a look at that zoomed in and see what we're looking at we can see we're talking 0.3 or 0.03 of one meter so it was a very small event for sure that buoy is in event mode the buoy is closer to the actual earthquake don't seem to be in event mode we have numerous buoys just north and south of the big 6.6 .6 earthquake that are not in event mode so i'm guessing that small event up off the coast of boston is unassociated we have lots of underwater volcanoes right there as you can see this volcanic ridge stretching into boston that is more likely what has caused that buoy to go in event mode with that said a magnitude 6.6 .6, that's right 27.7 kilometers north northeast of cod rington antigua and barbuda tsunami warning i don't think it actually caused a tsunami and ladies and gentlemen uh, they don't have a depth we are seeing aftershocks in that area i will close this and show you guys 
we have an aftershock right in that area of 4.2, etc. But the story of the day will be the 6.6 .6 magnitude. I want to mention, look where that's located, right on top of the large caldera there in China. Things are about to go crazy around the globe. Based on the planetary alignments, we're going to see a huge uptick in solar activity, in plate tectonic activity, and volcanic activity over the next 120 days, as I've been telling y'all for the last several weeks. God bless, share, and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.